What up, Techers and Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. And today I have another wonderful, awesome microphone for all my budget gamers out there looking to save a buck, but looking to look very nice and modern and looking like you're spending a lot of money, then this microphone might be for you. Makes you look classy without looking ashy. What? Stop right now. And the mic I'm talking about is the Zeal Sound RGB USB microphone model type BKD-12. A awesome, modern looking, flashy RGB microphone for your desktop gaming, podcasting, and streaming. <laughs> and this is the box at the Zeal Sound comes in. Nothing too flashy and special about this. You get a nice little cover, a little outlined uh, diagram there of the oh, wrong side diagram there of the microphone. So let's do a quick little on the fly unboxing right now in your face. Let's just crack it open right here. No overhead cam needed. I think this is an all in one microphone based off of what that little image looks there and based off of what I saw on Amazon. Crack it open. You get these nice little uh, card product uh, information here as well as a nice manual in case you've never set up a microphone in your life. This should give you the ins and outs of how to connect it and how to configure it on your PC, Mac, and even iPhone. That's right, this works perfectly with iPhone and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So yeah, manual stuff, cool. We're not even gonna look at that. We're gonna freestyle it. As I've stated, it looks like it is an all-in-one solution here. No building, no mounting, no screwing. Pull it right out of its compartment here. Looks like uh, one of those old school G.I. Joe toys that kind of just stands up in the plastic case. There is weight, just getting right into it. It's pretty heavy now. Get into why that's heavy in a second. But let's finish pulling out what we got here. What was that? <clears throat> All right, dropped the rest of the contents on the floor. That's how you unbox in real life. So what fell out the box? Well, I pulled out the cable, which is a USB-A to USB-B. Now, will the USB-B be a problem with audio, making it sound better or worse? Most likely not. You can't tell the difference. The audio quality still matches with the best of the best of them. All right, so USB-A to USB-B. And we have here a nice little mount for a five eighths tread on a boom mic boom stand. So make sure you have that big piece component on whatever arm or boom mic stand you have because it needs to be the biggest one you got. All right, so that's that for mounting on an arm. And I dropped these other two pieces out of the box. One is a USB-A 3.0 apparently to USB-C, and then we have USB-A 3.0 as well. And on the other end is lightning cable. That's right. You will be connecting this to your iPhone. So this is perfect for all my iPhone content creators. Why is this mic so heavy? I'm gonna tell you why. Because it's completely metallic. 100% metallicness happening here with this microphone. From the case here on the top, all cold metal to the stand here as well being icy cold metal. Wow, even the shock mount is metal. Everything's metal, why? So if this is going to be used on your desk like that, it's got weight with the stand and everything being metal, so don't be afraid of bumping into it because this thing is pretty, uh, stuck to the table too with its nice little rubber gripping feet there on the bottom. All right, so what do we have here on the front? We have two buttons right there on the front. One looks like it is for your monitoring control for monitoring on the fly to listen to yourself. And the other looks like it is for the microphone gain. And do we have a mute function here? Yes, we do. We have a touch sensitive mute function right on the top there. So you just press that and it should mute by tapping it with your finger. Uh, where's the monitoring port on this? On the back <laughs> is the monitoring port. So that's kind of convenient to have the monitoring port on the back. So it's kind of not in your way on the front. Very fine windshield there on the front. We're gonna put it through that test and find out how that windshield actually works with plosives and that kind of thing. Let's get this guy connected to my PC and let's get the testing started. Let's go. And this is what the microphone looks like once you plug it into your PC techies and gamers or your xbox or your iphone 
Yes, nice flashy RGB. I do like the large mesh holes that you have there on the microphone allows for a lot of light to come out and it looks pretty nice and flashy. And I noticed that there is no way to control your RGB. So the only things you can do with RGB, just talking about right now, since we're looking at it, is to hold a long press the top and you can turn it off, hold long press again and turn it back on. And that is about the extent of what you can do with RGB. I noticed that when you press mute, it will turn off the lights. So you know you're unmuted. And then when you press it again, you unmute, your RGB lights come back on. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it sounds like. <laughs> I missed the snap. I missed my fingers. I have no control. And let's see what this bad boy sounds like in my, wow, what was that? Wow. Check this out. Right now I have the microphone, I guess because the gain is so maxed out. Now, when I put my headphones next to the mic, and that's coming through the headphones. So let's lower that just a little bit, not have the gain blasting my life away. If your gain is all the way up 100%, woo, your eyes and ears will pop. Right now you're listening to the AM8 microphone, but let's go ahead and make the switch over to the Zeal Sound. We are live and in effect with the Zeal Sound BKD microphone. This thing is loud. Uh, and I am aware that it was going to be loud because on the manual blatantly says that it is it has a large diaphragm. So it will be picking you up from across the street if you have it maxed out. What? This is the quality coming out of box. No tweaking other than just lowering the audio because it was just blowing my headphones up. And it sounds pretty decent. Okay, for a USB microphone kind of what you would expect in this day and age because a lot of these usb microphones you're getting now i don't know if they're copying technology from one another and just rubber stamping it and putting it into their stuff and just making their own cases but a lot of them sound pretty good for the price you're paying for them and the monitoring is in real time so very easy to talk this is the gain at 100 percent on the microphone do you hear that put your volume up a little bit if you don't What's that noise? I hear music. I hear a washing machine too. I hear everything. So as you can see, the diaphragm is quite uh, big and open. So you will have no problem picking up your audio on a stand. And if you're just kind of moving away from it, it'll still continue to pick it up. Something I have difficulty doing with this AM8, which is an awesome microphone, but when it comes to like stepping away a little bit, you lose your audio. It kind of dips out too much. No problem with the Zeal sound. Pulsive's test with this windshield. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, and then poured it into a pitcher. So Pulsive's is probably not something you need to worry about. And you can just leave it as is with its own pop filter. I don't see any reason you would want to take it off in the first place. Uh, handling noise there is some i'm just kind of touching things on it so tapping the body itself you will get some noise from it all right and hisses eating salad with snakes and serpents sounds pretty appetizing the hisses are significant let's see if we can make this thing sound good just with using OBS, right? So let's go ahead and make a switch over to OBS. All right, OBS view right here. Let's go ahead and add a filter to this Zeal Sound thing right here. Right click, go to filters, and I'm going to add some noise suppression to get rid of some of this noise that we got going on. Right now it's just my PC fans, but it's picking it up. All right, so uh, we're just gonna click noise suppression. Once we click OK, it's going to kick in. close the noise suppression is in effect and if you look here on obs levels you'll see it drop all the way down no noise in your audio this is the quality of the microphone all right take easy gamers i just did some playback of some we're not using this right now we can push this to the side i just did some playback on video and the microphone sounds pretty 
good. I am enjoying the actual bass that kind of comes out of this microphone. I wouldn't have to tweak too much. And even the hisses sounded a lot less over the recording versus what I was hearing on monitoring. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to do, and that is connect it to my iPhone. All right, Tech in the Game. So here we are on an iPhone using the front facing camera. I have not done anything but plug the microphone into the iPhone with that lightning to USB adapter. And this is the quality you're getting with this microphone now. I don't even know if it's recording audio. I just grabbed it, plugged it in, and pressed record. So uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. It may sound different. I know with other microphones, I sometimes get mono audio through the microphone versus stereo. So I'm curious to find out. Now, let me do some playback here and let you know what I hear and what I think. So from that sample with the iPhone, you can see that it's actually very plug and play with your iPhone. And it will be the same when you plug in through the USB-C to your iPad as well. Not only is it plug and play, but the audio was actually pretty good on that iPhone as well. It did record in stereo. So yeah, you're getting some good features. All right, take it as a gamer. So my final take of this microphone, I'm gonna go ahead and end it out right with this mic, is that for $55, right now you get a little 5% coupon on it. At that price, this quality is actually quite good contending with some of the better USB microphones out there, such as Fifine A8. That is also another good microphone. These two, in my opinion, are pretty much neck and neck. Great highs, mids and lows. I am actually getting some decent bass coming out of this out of box with a little bit of tweaking. I can definitely make it sound much more pro easily because coming out of box of quality is quite good. The pickup is fantastic in post editing if you had to edit your video in post there's not that much tweaking you'd actually have to do to a microphone such as this and of course when you get something like this up close to your face like that you're gonna get some fantastic audio you don't have to yell like i yell sometimes so does it make a pass on the tech toys and gaming show absolutely this is a pretty good mic i would recommend this for entry level uh, content creators, podcasters, streamers, video game recordings, such as, well, I haven't done that in a while, but there are a lot of people out there who do that and post their videos online on their channel. So this is actually a good option. Let me know in the comments if you want me to put this on a head-to-head -head battle with the Five Fine A8, and I will be sure to create a battle between the two. Zeal Sound versus Five Fine A8. That would actually be a good battle because this is pretty good. I want to say that it even sounds just ever so slightly better, but I don't know. I haven't put them head to head. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Forget the nests. Just keep it pushing. There's nests everywhere. Oh, what in the heck is this? <laughs> oh, oh.